to that presser we told you about, Mayor Andre Dickens is speaking. Let's listen in. On this situation, I've spoken to the governor, to our congressional delegation of senators and uh, Congress people, as well as my office has been in touch with the White House. And as soon as possible, I'll be in touch with the families of the victims that are here. Um, as you know, one is deceased and four are fighting for their lives at Grady Hospital, and we're prayerful that they pull through. And as soon as possible, I will reach out to them and to their families. Uh, all are women. And uh, I am also uh, making sure that you know that we are dealing with someone that is armed and dangerous. Uh, this is a deadly situation. This individual um, has just indeed conducted an act that we want to make sure that you know that if you see him, do not approach, but you are to call 911. Um, we are also uh, making sure that you know that law enforcement agencies across this region are working together. Um, law enforcement agencies of Fulton County, of the city of Atlanta, of Cobb County, of our college campuses, our Atlanta Public Schools PD, uh, a number of agencies are working in a consorted effort, a concerted effort to work and to bring this suspect in um, and to make sure that we are all safe in the process. And so um, I ask that again, if you see the individual that you have seen his face, you've seen his photo and his clothing, please do not approach, but do call 911. Um, so now uh, I am very confident that the men and women of the Atlanta Police Department and the other local agencies are well trained uh, to make sure uh, that we bring this individual to justice for situations just like this. So now I'll turn it over to Chief Sherbaum to give you all the specific details about this, issue, this uh, incident and to let you know our pathway forward. Chief. Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate it. First of all, the Atlanta Police Department wants to extend its condolences uh, for all members of the Atlanta Police Department, those that lost their lives today, and we are working digitally, digitally to bring this individual uh, into custody. We are looking for Dion Patterson age 24 years of age, which we have given you his photo. And this is a very active search. Uh, we are following up on credible leads that are currently active in Cobb County, as well as some that are right here in the city. Uh, we have been joined by multiple jurisdictions. We have the Sheriff of Fulton County that is here right now uh, that's been working alongside our department, Georgia Tech PD, Georgia State University PD, MARTA PD, the Georgia State Patrol, the GBI, the FBI, the Secret Service, uh, as well as, as the Atlanta Public uh, Schools Police are all actively involved searching as we speak for Mr. Patterson. And here's what we know. We'll be able to give you some information and others will be de delivered as this investigation continues. At 12.08 this afternoon, we were called just down the street to 1110 West Peachtree. This is a medical facility of uh, the Northside Hospital. It was at that location. This shooting did occur inside the waiting room of that medical facility uh, where five individuals were shot. Unfortunately, a, a 39-year-old female has lost her life and of, of those that are injured is a 71-year-old female, a 56-year-old female, a 39-year-old female, and then a 25-year-old female. We do know that Patterson, Mr. Patterson, our suspect, left the building. Uh, we believe he carjacked a vehicle a short distance away and was able to flee the scene as the law enforcement agencies were des descending on this area. And we believe he has left the area. Uh, he may not still be in that vehicle. So I don't want everyone to be focused on the vehicle, which has, has been recovered. Uh, so the photograph that has been distributed uh, for your viewers, your listeners, to be very mindful of that photograph. If you see this individual who may or may not still be in the same hoodie, please call 911 right away or use Crime Stoppers to be able to provide an anonymous tip to where he may be. As the mayor said, we have a multi-jurisdictional effort underway to bring this individual to justice and ensure that we remove him from the street. Everyone consider him still armed and presenting a danger to whatever community he may find himself in at this time. Chief, how did this start? I mean, what, what, what preceded the shot? You know, we're just hours into this investigation. So investigators are behind us in the buildings, uh, talking to witnesses, processing the scene as we speak. Uh, the clarity that I think that we would want to know as a city and as a society, we just don't have at this particular moment, but we'll provide it as soon as we, we have it. victims patients? Were they employees of Northside Hospital? What? That is still being worked through. Uh, we don't. Uh, we weren't in a position at this time to say whether they're patients or whether they're employees or both. We believe the vehicle has been recovered. That is correct. Chief, can you confirm that the shooter's mother is one of the victims? 
Uh, right now, the shooter's mother was not injured in this uh, in, in this incident. This is the How information did you we have. This was targeted? You, you said all five victims were women. Is it we just don't know. It is still too soon to know uh, why these individuals were chosen. Can you confirm that? The, can, you, can you confirm that the, the suspect's mother is talking to you? That she's been cooperative. The family is being cooperative with us, uh, and there's other witnesses as well at the scene. Have they shared anything about his mental health? Nothing that we can reveal at this time. Any prior with law enforcement? There has been minimal contact with the Atlanta Police Department from this individual. I can I can report that. Where was the vehicle found? I can't get that out right now. Can you, can you tell us about all about people calling in and giving tips? And what's that been like so far? Because obviously you pushed the image out early. What has that been like so far with people helping? You know, we can. Yes. It, it, the, thank, thank you, Mayor. The mayor has been watching this uh, manhunt unfold at our command post, and he is very aware uh, that cameras across the city have been instrumental. Uh, in us tracking this individual. He's very aware that as we get information that's called in by citizens, we're able to use the camera network uh, to quickly go to that location even before officers arrive. So it's helpful, and we ask citizens to continue to do that. It's probably. You're $10,000 reward. Uh, are you guys hoping that people will be a little more active in just calling out one more than we, we know it will be helpful, but I can tell you the civic-minded citizens of this city are already responding. Uh, and even without that uh, request for a reward, they're already having calls that's coming in. Where are the medical centers that you use? We don't have that specific yet. It was it was on an upper level, I believe the 11th floor of the uh, the building. What is the White House Channel 11. Chief, you mentioned that the vehicle has been recovered. Is that the only vehicle that is supposed to be involved in this incident, or are there others? We're hearing from um, hospital workers that there was another car that may have been involved prior to the one that was recovered. In any vehicle that we're confident in connecting to this crime, we've already released. As that changes, we may provide other vehicle with information. Vehicle and we'll do that as quickly as we can. Was the vehicle carjacked in the garage? It was not. So right now the gun is not in the possession of law enforcement and we're actively looking for a gun as we are the individual. So the, the White House just offered up their support and wanted to know if, if anything they could do to help uh, in this situation and the White House is uh, constantly in contact with my office to you know offer us support and see if they if we need anything. Chief, the like challenge, Atlanta, the challenge the of the initial response. Kind of Chief, the challenge of the initial response is Midtown, uh, you know, high population density here, building has to be searched. What was it like initially when the shots got a call? You know, I, th I think the citizens of Atlanta saw their police department and our partner agencies in action. Uh, we went into that building and cleared every single floor. Uh, even in when information came about that the uh, subject could have left, we were still searching for victims. Uh, we were assisting citizens out of the building that had taken shelter. And I do want to thank everyone in Midtown that honored the shelter-in-place request for their patience to allow us to do our job. This is an urban environment, so it does present challenges, but it's challenges that you saw a collective, robust response from law enforcement. But the camera network that's in this location was very helpful and did assist in the investigation. Chief, were there hundreds of people in the building? Won't be able to give that information. This shooting okay. captured on surveillance video inside the Won't be able to give that at this time. Can you right, thank you, everybody. Like to have Atlanta it, be the latest city in America touched by this kind of gun violence. I will. I will say this: we have the, our public affairs unit has been pushing out quick information to you all. We will continue to do that. Follow our social media platforms and be in contact with our website as soon as we have an updated information. Be it vehicles, a new clothing description. Uh, you all will have it, and the citizens of this city will have it. Thank okay, you, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.